So today we're back playing IFR because they just released an update or yesterday they released an update which included these new cards. You can see there's a new tab in the main menu called IFR Carton which we will check out in a little bit. But before we do that we're gonna head over to the garage and if you go here you're gonna see a new tab as well IFR Cards. So now we have 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023 and IFR Cards. And of course all the game pass cards and when you click on IFR cards It shows you all the different cards currently in the game I'm confused about how the stats work because for some reason it's given me the same stats for all the cards Except for the ones that I currently own so I'm not sure if you need to buy the cards before it shows you the stats or whatever But let's go through all the different cards real quick This is the IFR cards race and I believe that you get this one for free Delivery actually looks like the ion driver testing card that the game used to have a very long time ago I don't know if any of you remember it next up We have the Lando Norris cards, which I actually want to buy so you can see the stats It tells you 9.3 9.3 and 10. It's 6.7 million which is super expensive i'm gonna buy it and let's see are the stats gonna change no the stats are completely the same so it seems like most of the cards have the same stats let's click develop yeah it seems like the stats are almost maxed out let's actually max it out so there we go we have a max out lando norris card i don't know what kind of difference the card stats make because i haven't really tested them but if you want to see a stock card versus a max card let me know in the comments below next up we have the key and chamber and it has like the IKC logo. If you didn't know, IKC is Ion Carton Championship, which is their Carton game. This isn't really a special livery. It's like, it's similar to this one. It's got red, white, and black. Next up, we have, okay, it doesn't, this one has the same logo. It's just like typical Carton place liveries. Like I've probably seen this livery in a cart rental place. And this one costs 5.7 million. So you're basically paying for the livery for all of these carts. You're not really, paying for the stats although i feel like they might change up the stats soon unless if it's intended to be this way next up we have the reno cards which i believe this is the fernando alonso cards i'm pretty sure he has like his own carton team and it does look very similar it's just lacking yellow i believe and this one is only 2 million so you can get pretty much a max out card for 2 million which is great at least you don't have to pay similar prices to the f1 cars and obviously these are cars they should be cheaper we have john cards typical livery we have the faster GP which is somewhat similar to the brown GP they also have the so they have the F1 team so we have the Red Bull two different liveries actually what's even oh this is like a more classic Red Bull livery and this is like a more recent Red Bull livery this one is 8.5 million for a cart uh, we have the McLaren this is like the McLaren 2008 livery we have another typical livery it's called IKC Fiducia we have Rara Carton which is the Ferrari it's 10.5 million this is actually super expensive just for a car so, but i know some ferrari fans are definitely gonna be buying these we also have mercedes for 9 million we have this anime livery better face go for 2 million we have akan racing 4 million craig carton 4 million it also has two different liveries um it's not it's like mainly the difference is on the sides it looks very nice and finally we have the atlas gp junior livery hopefully we're gonna be seeing a factor on racing cards soon but yeah that's all the carton teams we have there's 12 teams but we also have some new f1 teams right now let me find them so we have the new peugeot sport livery which actually has two liveries it's 3.2 million decent stats and we have this one and this little white one i believe this is like a classic livery they used to have in rally let me know in the comments below and uh, next up we have bunta racing i feel like this is based off a real life brand i just forgot which or maybe it's completely made up next up we have papillon motorsports which is like butterfly in french yeah this is a french liver you can see the french flag here it's a very nice liver i really like how it looks but you can't really see it very well from here i want to see the side pod okay this is a very cool fictional livery and finally last but not least we have the brown gp so we have the white brown gp and the black brown gp and it's 9.7 million this is the most expensive fictional liver we've ever had in the game and it does have great stats as well 8.28 and 7.3 so it's a really good fictional car if you want to get it and it's the classic brown gp so it's not like fully fictional 
it's just in the wrong generation they also added helmets uh they didn't really add a lot of special ones the one that i really like and that i also bought is the sebastian vettel aston martin helmet it looks very nice and if you're a sub vettel fan of course you're going to be getting it but yeah some of these i believe this is Ayrton senna some of these were submitted in the discord so if you make a helmet and you want to submit it to the game join the ifr discord and post it there but yeah that's pretty much checking out all the new stuff except the spicy stuff which is the ifr carton stuff so once you click on ifr carton it takes you to this track selection place which is all the new carton tracks they added and the best part if you have a vip server you can actually drive any other car on the carton tracks which is hilarious we also have a couple of snow tracks we have Corey ice and okay we only have one snow track but the snow track is very special i think we're gonna go to quarry ice first and i'll join this server with 12 people right now oh my god the garages are completely full it seems that carton servers have way less garages than the f1 servers let's find a different one then there you go we can drive on this one instead okay we took the first garage and you can see all my carts are loaded in here i'm gonna be spawning the lando norris maxed out cars and you can see in terms of setup you only have two tire options the dries and the wets you can also change your fuel and this little cool feature which is like kind of replacing the air setup this is called the rear track width and it goes from one to six and from what i've heard is the higher the number the more understeer so if you want understeer you do a high number if you want oversteer and to drift every corner you do a low number i think i'm gonna go with two because oversteer carts are the best kind of carts and i'm gonna go 15 percent fuel oh wait i just remembered this is the snow track let's actually go like five on the setup the snow track is actually oversteer as you're gonna see and the attention to detail with these cars and this track as well is actually amazing you can see on the tires there's these little spikes or dots those are basically snow tires you also get these snow tires in f1 cars if you manage to drive an f1 car around here and the track is actually super slide okay so let's oh my god i forgot to show you this when you throw throttle the throttle pedal actually moves and when you brake, the brake pedal actually moves and when you turn everything in terms of the drive shaft actually turns and for some reason you do turn like a tank even if i'm not throttling right now which is kind of funny but the attention to detail with these cards is amazing and i'm glad they're starting to pay attention to detail and polishing up the game and let's actually drive out oh my god i'm getting so much understeer i'm basically aquaplaning on the snow here so these tracks are not completely new by the way they've been in the carton game since forever but yeah considering we're driving on snow this car is super understeer well the understeer is mainly due to my setup and also due to the fact that my front tires are doing more aquaplaning than actual steering and i'm so glad they actually made the snow have some sort of effect instead of just having it like a normal track you can see the track water it says 10 percent all the time even when it's sunny and i believe that's just to modify the grip slightly and oh my god did i just set a 30 second flat what the heck it's a 30 dot oh 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 what okay we got 53k for a 30 second lap that's quite good actually it's not as good as grind in france with no rules in the formula x cars but it's definitely a great way of grinding money another thing i saw people pointing out is that these cars have six gears which is not realistic i mean to be fair no car does have six gears should be like max four but yeah they might be changing that soon if people complain but i don't see a problem with a cart having six gears i think it's time to check out some of the other tracks so my personal favorite track is actually rochester carton i also love mount kiju which is like a half oval or a quarter of an oval and then a bunch of long hairpins they also have this track which is apparently a made-up country it looks like a minecraft map and it, i've been told that they just had it lying around so they decided to add it for fun i mean it's not a bad track but the way it looks is nothing like the ifr style and it's also a completely made up country but yeah let's try to race around the great british carton track and for this track i think i'm gonna go two for the rear setup and i'm gonna go 15 percent fuel we have 11 minutes qualifying okay let's see what kind of times i get i'm kind of a pro kart player so hopefully i can get p1 i mean after all i do have a maxed out card this track is actually quite nice looking i'm gonna do a silent hot lap so you guys get a nice look at the track
I thought I was gonna get a corner cut for a part of that lap and there you go p1 by about 2.1 seconds on my first try as well yeah this is I, I actually love how this car handles and the best part is like you can modify the setup to however you would want it to handle for me personally for carts I think they should be over steering because I, I love drifting around corners and carts because it's not like drifting around the corner in a car doesn't make you slower it's sometimes the quickest way to go around because of how they work there you go i even improved my final sector without even trying there and i must say i'm definitely excited for ion to start adding more cars to the game they posted a vote in their discord server saying if they should add the iec car which is basically like an lmp endurance car they had i mean personally from my experience i did not enjoy driving that car in the league which of course if they're gonna be adding it here it's gonna be heavily modified and hopefully more fun but yeah i'm definitely excited for them to start adding more cars and more content to the game maybe like bi-weekly updates or monthly updates that would be definitely very sick in my opinion they should also add formula e cars to this game although they told me they don't really have formula e tracks in the game so that's why they haven't decided to add formula e cars but yeah i'm definitely excited for the endurance cars for the gt cars if they're ever coming we might even have rally cars in the game if they add the rally stages this game is not only going to be competing with the f1 games on roblox now it's gonna be competing with like the carton games like kf1 carton it's also gonna compete with wrc if they ever add rally or whatever other games i mean if they start adding endurance cars it can definitely start like becoming more like project track day but somewhat better and i'm definitely excited for that because it means more content for us to try but yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel to not miss any future videos and if you want to watch my last video on the IFR update, click the video that pops up on the screen right now and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.